Welcome back Future Medicos. In this video, we are going to look at the cutoff marks for deemed universities for management quota seats in stray round. I will show you round one, round two, round three and the stray round score so that you get an idea of the trend, how deemed universities seats are being taken up by candidates. I will also show you the stray round cutoff rank so that uh, the future students, right, students from the next year or the subsequent years, they will get an idea in terms of the All India rank that is needed to get into your college. Right, let's get into the video. So as you can see, I have shown you the college name, round one score, round two score, round three score, stay round score and stay round rank. I have not shown uh, the ranks for round one, round two, round three, just to avoid too much data in the sheet. So I am showing only the All India rank for the stay round. Whereas I have shown the score for round one, round two, round three and the stay round so that you can compare and understand the trend or movement in terms of uh, the seats in the various rounds of deemed universities. I've also shown finally an arrow, an indicator to show that whether the cutoff has increased or decreased from round three to stay round, right? That's also I have shown. So with that uh, introduction, let me go into the details. So let me start with the topmost college. I have ranked the colleges in terms of the cutoff marks in stay round, okay? Based on the stay round cutoff, I have uh, placed the colleges in terms of descending marks, right? Highest mark at the top, lowest mark at the bottom. So let's start with KMC Manipal. KMC Manipal um, started with 567 in round one, 574 in round two, 605 in round three, and in stay round, it closed at 608 marks. In terms of rank, uh, the stay round closing rank was All India rank 24,330. Now you can see the trend very clearly that every round it has become more and more competitive. In the first round, 567 was able to get a seat in KMZ Manipal, but whereas in round two, you, you have needed 574. In round three, you needed 605 and in stay round, you needed 608. So this is the main reason I repeatedly talk about candidates should focus on getting the seat as early as possible. Don't always keep on waiting, waiting, waiting. Plan properly and try to go into the deemed universities as early as possible. Because the earlier you go, you get a better college. Say for example, a candidate with uh, 567 in the stay round could not even get the fourth college, right? Uh, maybe they might be getting only the fifth college, whereas in the first round, they might have got the topmost college. So typically, this is the trend for most of the colleges in deemed universities. Maybe some of the lower ranked colleges, it may not be the exact same trend. But if you want a good college, if you want a good college under deemed university, it's always better to go as early as possible. So Kasturiba Medical College or KMZ Manipal closed at 608 marks. At number two in stay round, we have JSS Mysore. It closed at 605 marks. Once again, you can see that in round one, it was just 441. Round two, 447. Round three, 469. And then stay round, it has shot up to 605. Because people are desperate to get a seat in the stay round. So the cutoff shoots up like anything. In uh, round one, it was as low as 441 marks. JLN Belagavi, uh, once again here, 437, 456, 535, and then closing at 601 mark. KS Day Mangalore, once again, the trend is very similar. It closed at 593 marks. IMS Bhuvaneshwar, in the first round, it could get as low as 358 marks, but in stay round, it has gone up to 522. This is one of the very rare colleges where the cutoff from round three to stay round has come down, right? I have shown you the red color arrow down, which means it has come down, okay? From 550, it has come down to 522. Except two colleges, every other college, the cutoff has gone up in stay round. Then Mahatma Gandhi Mission Medical College, Washi, which is a new medical college, it also closed at 519 marks. MGM Aurangabad closed at 518. Kalinga Bhuvaneshwar closed at 513. Amrita Faridabad, again a new medical college, closed at 511. BLDE Bijapur closed at 489. Uh, JG Triple MC closed at 486. SDU Kolar closed at 483 marks. BV Deemed University Pune 
closed at 461. Enipoya Medical College, Mangalore closed at 456. Rajarajeshwari Medical College at Bangalore closed at 441 marks. At the 16th position, we have Sri Siddhartha Medical College, Tumkur. It closed at 426 marks, which is an increase of 100 marks from round 3. Sri Ramachandra Medical College, Chennai closed at 405 marks. It's more or less uniform across the four rounds in Ramachandra. It started with 375 gone up to 391, came down to 373, then again gone up to 405. So more or less it's around 375 to 405, almost not a big variation, but still again, right, going in the first round seems to be a wise decision for most of the deemed universities. BV deemed university Sangli closed at 402 marks. Krishna Institute Karad closed at 396. MM Institute Mullana closed at 394. Sri Siddhartha Academy T. Begur closed at 391. Sri Lalitambigai Medical College 365 marks. So you can see that in round 1, Lalitambigai closed at 163. In round 3, it closed at 121. And then stay around it has gone up to 365. Nearly like 200, 240, 250 marks increase from round 3. So that's why it's not a good idea always to wait for stay around. Okay. Lalitambigai you could have easily got with a bare minimum pass mark you could have got if you've gone in either round one or round three you might have easily got it right dy patil navi mumbai closed at 365 again there is an increase of about 100 marks in uh, stay round uh, dy patil pune once again around 100 plus marks increase in the stay round and closed at 351 datta mega nagpur closed at 312 uh, jln varda closed at 294 srm medical college chennai closed at 268 vinayaka missions karekal closed at 257 Santosh Medical College, Ghaziabad closed at 235. Uh, ACS Medical College, Chennai closed at 234 marks. At the 31st position, we have Chettinad, uh, Kanjiburam or Chettinad, which is closer to Chennai actually. Uh, it closed at 223 marks. Uh, Vinayaka Mission, Salem closed at 198 marks. Mahatma Gandhi, Pondicherry closed at 178. Uh, Sri Lakshmi Narayana, Puducherry closed at 174 marks. This college had a lot of vacancies in round 1, round 2 and um, even in uh, round 3. But you can see that in stay round, even this college closes at a reasonable score. Like in the first uh, three rounds, you can see that the cutoff is almost like just pass mark, 107 marks. But even here, the stay round cutoff goes up to 175, right? Geetam Vishakapatnam closed at 148 marks. Arubadai Vidu uh, Puducherry closed at 147. Bharat Medical College at Chennai closed at 145. Sri Satya Sai Medical College, Chennai closed at 144 marks. And Sri Balaji Medical College. This is the only college where all the seats were not allotted. There are still vacancies in Balaji. In the stay round, nine seats were not allotted. Okay. Nine seats went vacant in stay round. So anyone with a pass mark would have got Sri Balaji. So getting a seat in a deemed university itself is not a big issue. But getting a good college is really a challenge. So if you want a good college, you should go as early as possible. If you don't mind any college, then it's okay. You can wait until round three, right? And then you can try, then probably it's okay. Okay. And then uh, the colleges below this, all these don't have any vacancies in the stay round. Like Amrita, Kochi, there were uh, there was no vacancy. D.Y. Patel, Kolapur, Hamdat, KMC, Mangalore, Manipal Tata Medical College. Meenakshi Medical College, which is a surprise for many candidates. Many of you are commenting that, sir, this college just came in round three and all the 150 seats had been taken up in round three. There was uh, no participation in this college in round one, round two. They just came in round three. They gave the option 150 seats. All 150 seats are taken. None of them resigned. Stay around, no vacancies, right? Very clean kind of like admission. Mean actually college should be happy because it's just a single admission for all the students, right? There was nothing like candidates joining, leaving, candidates joining, leaving, right? It was like, yeah, it, it is really a surprise. I don't know why none of them has left. Even in the stay round, there is no vacancy. That's a good sign, right? This is how candidates should be. They should be clear about what they want. The two at the round three, right? Round one, round two, I can understand candidates moving. Round three, I don't think is a, a good idea to leave the college and go somewhere else. And uh, of course, uh, round three also restricts candidates uh, 
once they leave, they won't be able to participate in the stay round. And certainly, right, candidates who are joining Minakshi at 229 marks, they may not have any better options um, unless they want to go to the state and try some of the private colleges. Even there, the uh, fees will be quite high. So I don't think it's a good idea to leave. And I think the candidates stuck to Minakshi Medical College. So it's clearly right. One round and all the seats had been filled up. Good. MGM Navi Mumbai, there was no vacancy. Rural Medical College, Pim Sloney, there was no vacancy in Shreyraun. Savita Chennai, yeah, surprisingly, this college has such a high fee structure, but still there is no vacancy in Shreyraun. So candidates are good. They are clear with their options or choices. That's good, right? That's That should be the way. We should have as minimal vacancies as possible for stay round. SBKS, uh, this college uh, faced some issues actually. NMC reduced the number of seats after the counseling has started. That's why you don't see any allotment in round three as well as there are no vacancies in stay round because uh, NMC has reduced the number of allotments or number of uh, seats in this college after round two completed. Right? So that's a problem. Symbiosis Pune, once again, uh, quite popular in the first three rounds and there are no vacancies in stay round. And finally, Wales Medical College, there is no vacancy in stay round. Again, this college faced some issues with NMC. I think NMC has reduced the number of seats from 150 to 100 during, I think, round three or after round three. I don't remember exactly. That's why there are no vacancies in stay round. So that's um, uh, the overall information I wanted to share about deemed universities. I hope this information is useful to you, uh, particularly candidates who are participating uh, in deemed universities counseling in the future. Please keep this in mind. Go as early as possible if you want a good college. If you don't mind any college, then you can go late also. That should not be a problem. Thank you. Bye-bye. <music>